Thank you. Thank you. I just want to be sure that we all understand that I'm still in charge here. Yes, of course. Absolutely, Mother. I understand that. But now this was your idea for the joint account. <laughs> and you're not going to try to, to overrule me on anything? Oh, come on. Mother, come on. Hey, I'm your son. It sounds pretty reasonable to me, Laura. Take your time and look it over. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I have to run. But, so, take your time. Take your time, uh, read it over. It's pretty straightforward. It's, uh, you know, it's just a simple joint account. Uh, it's up to you. Sign it or don't sign it, but, uh, I do have to run. Okay. Junk. Tell me the purpose in making it so she can't sign a check. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Take it easy. I can't understand you. Now, what's the problem? The problem is that signature card you filled out, she can't sign a check without you signing it, too. What is that? Look, I, I'm just trying to help. That's all. You know, this way I can keep track of what she's buying. And actually, I think it's in her best interest. In her best interest? She took it so badly, she collapsed. Hmm. Jeez, yeah. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. Uh, obviously, there's been a misunderstanding. Uh, all right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to look into it, and I'll get back to you, okay? Yeah, you get back to me. That's fine. Prick. There is no way contractor is getting my money. Hey, he seems to make your mother happy. Christy, wake up. She seems happy because she's old. I never should have let her go to the Bahamas and marry that ass. What's the problem? The problem is 
my mother is worth a billion dollars. You understand? If she should die or start spending it, guess who goes to the bank? Not me. You live pretty well. <laughs> I'm not interested in living well. I think you're overreacting. You think I'm overreacting? I just don't think you want your mother to be happy. Get out. What is the matter with you? What's the matter with me? What's the matter with you? Get out of my car! Mark! Get the fuck out! Monet Fletcher. Oh. Nice to meet you, Mr. Coolidge. You're much different than I imagined, Monet. Certainly no nurse ratchet, now are you? So, how familiar are you with the drugs used in psychotherapy? Uh, Thorazine, lithium? I'm very familiar with drugs. What's your experience with women? What do you mean? Well, I mean in the sense of taking care of old ladies who are getting ready to die. I have a lot of experience. Good. Now, why don't you uh, enlighten me on that uh, little incident in, uh, what was it, uh, Maine? That was ten years ago. Uh -huh. uh, look, if, if you have a problem with that, then uh, find somebody else. Well, no, actually, I was just offering to hear your side of the story. There is no story. So, anything else, Mark? No, you're hired. As long as you remember who the boss is. It's not my mother. It's not her husband. It's me. That's why I do things. So tell me something. If you've got such a problem with my past, why are you willing to hire me? Knowing more about you than you want me to know requires your loyalty. It's a little advanced. I can be very loyal. I'll see you. See you. 